So, if you're following my Dark Souls 3 series, you're probably rather confused. And somewhat maybe expected. Like I said in there, I wasn't sure whether to get this now because I'm trying to be better with spending. But at the same time, I'm very bad with impulse buys. I, I impulse buy quite a bit, which is something I need to get a handle on. That said, I don't mind for this one because this will of course be for the channel. And the channel is very important to me. I want to keep pushing it. So I don't mind. So with that said, welcome to Final Fantasy 16. Now, I did do the demo. I didn't record it or put any footage out because I didn't know when 16 was coming and I was very busy at the time. I didn't realise it was coming this month as I've explained before. Hence why I haven't put out any content talking about this quite yet, at least as far as the demo. But I did play the demo, hence why this is there. No, so not this. What the hell are those? Okay. Since it's a new game, we're going to, of course, be going from a, you know, new game. Yeah. Uh, maybe we can take the brightness down a little bit. The lighting of that lamp looks really good. Subtitles, wireless control of vibration, English, English, graphics or frame rate? Graphics, we want everything to look pretty. I don't think frame rate will be a problem. Enable an on-screen waveform that provides visual representation of in-game sound. No, I think I'll just have to kind of judge it as I go. Begin the game with standard equipment, recommended for those who are comfortable with action games. Begin the game with several accessories that simplify gameplay, recommended for those who are less comfortable with action games which to focus more on the game story element. I do want to focus on the game story, that is the part of the um, demo that made me want to play for the channel. I was very concerned about playing a Final Fantasy for the channel because of course I, was, I had very mixed feelings on 15. I think it's an okay game, I wouldn't ever record it because I don't think it's that type of game, but the demo pulled me around onto this. It made me want to play it because of the story. That said, I don't want the game's action to be simplified in any way, so I will be going for the action focused. I don't think it takes away from the story at all, it just makes it so you don't have the, you know, several accessories that simplify gameplay uh, element to it. So I'm going to be going with action focused. Um, yeah, I think that should all be fine. I'll mess around with the audio after this, make sure it's okay. It Moss the Chronicler who said that the land of Alistia is blessed in the light of the Mother Crystals. And that it was this light which finally led our forebears out of the darkness. Yet, what they saw in the light gave rise to temptation. Temptation that ever lures us back into the crystal shadow. And thus did our journey begin. Okay, okay, big start. Wow. This was like at the end of the demo. I can't believe this is here. Are we are we gonna be playing this? We played it in the... Well, we played a section later in the later part of the fight in the demo. Are we going to be playing it here? Let's, um, let's see. Wow, okay, big start. I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't sure where we were going to start, actually. Okay, I can just hold it. Not gonna get me a kind of fire. Oh god, oh god. No, not allowed. Keep firing fireballs. Keep shooting it. Oh god. Where the hell is this cavern going? I never really questioned it when I was playing the demo, but god damn you! 
We just keep falling. How deep is this earth? Okay, I don't think you can avoid that one. I think that was story, you know, linked to the story. Well, at least as far as the gameplay was, it, it, you need to go to the cutscene to make this happen. And listen, I, I, I know we're playing as the Phoenix, but I'm sorry. The Demon Lizard looks so much cooler. Okay. Back with our main protagonist. Was that in the start of the demo? It feels familiar. Yeah, the realm 873. The nicer defile. I think they are starting off where the demos began, which is good. Because the demo is very slow walking, gets you into it a lot. Not not any really big fighting, at least in this section of it, but we'll in get the into the fighting later on. Both camps have begun to stir. You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. No one else. Where's the fun in that? How do we even know the girl will be among them? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Try to keep that in mind. Based on the demo, I think I've caught on to what the dominant is. At least what a dominant is. Because there are multiple. But I'm not going to, you know, talk about it yet. I'll, I'll wait until the story gets a bit more into it. Dude! I was relaxing by the fire! Now, just to be full on clear, um, I know that may have sounded weird that I'm not going to talk about the dominance until later. I only know what was in the demo. I don't know anything else. I haven't looked into any spoilers or... I haven't really even seen any trailers for it. I saw the initial trailer like several years ago. And I wasn't particularly intrigued just because Final Fantasy XV was just okay. The demo definitely pulled me back into this one as stated before. Focus, Wyvern. But I am. Um, I am rather curious where they're going to go with this. Yes, sir. I'm rather curious where the story is going to go because, from what I know, based on what the demo said in a few like um, places, he said the story is going to take place over three timelines. Um, when our main character here, Wyvern, open the main menu, and the time outside. Press the yeah, button at any time outside a cutscene to open the main menu. Gameplay configuration configuration settings, including camera inversion, can be adjusted by the system tab. We yeah, so apparently we're going to be break. going into his teen years, his 20s, and his 30s, I believe. So I think we're going to be jumping around between all three of those years. Time to move. I am admittedly a bit skeptical of this. I don't want to just keep jumping around his timeline, but um, I'm intrigued to see how they do it. Just in time. I'm intri I think this is probably his third is. This seems like his third is based on his general look. The Republican Army front lines. Cavalry men, okay. They look like barbarians, the one they're fighting with the axes. You're more typical armored soldiers with mages in tow. God dang. Why did none of you have shields, by the way? If you can make a line and hold the enemy, you can just keep firing off the catapults into the. Um, freaking forces. You could cut them down by the tons, by the tens.
wonder how many dominants there are. Yeah, definitely in his third is. I'm not pronouncing that. The something stronghold. I need a bit more time than just a quick cutscene to try to pronounce that. Did you not pledge your swords to our cause? Come now. Marshal, the King of Walud is our guest. Who is denying a deal you apparently already made. He, is, he has the right to be angry. And you have his majesty's answer. Oh, great. He's a douche. <sighs> That's something I was concerned about. Well, not concerned, but confused about in the trailer. As, not trailer, but demo as well. So it can be used... To ignite something, but also as a refreshment. Or did that crystal hold water in it? That you summoned us at all. In fact, that's so probably what it was. It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Or am I mistaken? Stop. Being hot and flirty Besides, and also being terrible. Your dominant has yet to take the field. And when he does, our knights would only get in the way. Perhaps you have not heard, but the Iron Blood now have their own dominant. We would be fools to underestimate them. Bugger their knights. What did you say? Should this citadel be allowed to fall? <laughs> the capital will lie exposed. I love that it just sits him down, like, calm down, dude. And I doubt the Crusaders will wait for the good king's pawns to line up before taking to the board. Which just leaves me. The Iron Blood will rule the day they set foot on Storm. This game is over. Okay. Big dude, lot of power. Clearly very confident. God, why did they make her so hot? It makes this next scene very uncomfortable. You cock. <laughs> Not that part. I, I forgot she said that. Benedict. <sighs> take care. Does the lion take care when he chases the hare? Or do you think me one of the latter? No, my love. You are a lion. You're my lion. <laughs> that lion should be banned no, after Game of Thrones. Frost, Benedicta. But I will need someone to warm me when I come home. <sighs> See, that, that part is weird. Because they talk about the enemy just dominant as if they don't know what it is, yet he references Frost, which will become very important in just a few moments. This is our chance. The chaos will conceal us. Is I'm not sure what do they know who the dominant is? What the dominant is for the enemy? Because by the sound of it, he does, but no one else in the room seemed to know who it was. Also, another thing, I'm not sure how long I was playing said demo for, so I'm not sure how long this opening section, which I know stuff about, will go on for. I will try to make this a longer episode, of course, like I typically try to do. 
but of course, no, I guess, as always. no promises. It will be longer, of Take course, just I'm not sure how much longer. Did you... Did, did you say Wait. take the van as in Vanguard? Something's not right. Good thing you stopped him. Titan. So the Darmax finally grew tired of being slaughtered. They set Titan loose. Yeah, look, this is why I was confused. Did, did they already know? And look who's here to greet the bastard. Did they already know the enemy had a frost dominant? Come on. Again. Like an ice phantom. God, is she beautiful. I love Ice so much, and she's gorgeous. God damn! Calm down, calm down. Okay. Woo. That does not look like a good matchup for you, my lady. That's a gorgeous shot. Both of those were beautiful. Oh god. Okay. Big punch. Was Titan bigger in Final Fantasy XV? I think he was. You don't get to die here, Wyatt. Did he speed up his movement? Did he have some form of rapid running? Some speed increase that I was unaware of? Oh yeah, I forgot about this. This took me a while to actually get it. I didn't know I needed to come back here because it was so dark in the freaking demo. Ah, oh, crap. Right on top of us. I'm trying to think of the best thing to describe her. She's like an ice pixie or a phantom. There's Titan. I will say that is one thing that I'm... Um, what the hell? That's one thing I don't particularly like. I wish there was new, you know, legendary monsters in the games. Because I'm pretty sure there's the same kind of monsters throughout all of the Final Fantasy games. I'm pretty sure there's always a Titan, there's always an Ifrit. Um, I don't know if there's always a Phoenix. But I know typically it's always around about the same monsters that you can summon. So I do wish they changed it up a bit. I, I even I don't know. I know there is the um, the big one in this, the fire lizard that was at the start. I don't know if he's new. He looks new. I think the phoenix is new as well. I haven't heard of the phoenix before. Oh. Plus, um, I've never I haven't seen anything about Leviathan being in this game. I know it was a big part of Final Fantasy 15. You had to go like to like a whole separate area just to get him. Wyvern. Along with that, I've heard romance is going to be a pretty decent part of this story. Apparently they're trying to age this one up a little bit. Trying to make it a bit more mature, hence the... Uh, not get to die here. Hence the rather intense kissing scene in the hallway between those two. They're trying to age it up a bit. Brother. Uh, that was your brother? I'm not sure if he means just like... 
Brother is in um, spiritual brother, as in fam fan family kind of brother. I'm pretty sure that's what he means. Thirteen summers early. I'm pretty sure this is um, teen live. If you're not cut out to be a shield, there's always work for you in the stables. Unless, of course, you think you can defend your master while sat on your ass in a puddle of pig swill. I'm sure he'd find a way. My brother always looks after me. <laughs> right? Go on. You're sure to hit him eventually. Don't give up now. <laughs> Two arms. It wouldn't do to disappoint the gallery. See, I don't mind the scene. I'm just kind of wondering how I ended up on my back in the first place. Considering what I'm about to do to this man. Revisit combat training. Yes, I will revisit Start for this. Just because I, I do enjoy the combat Show training. And I feel like it's best if we look at it together. Uh, melee attacks press square to perform a melee attack. Up to four attacks can be chained together. Run Clive! Get him! Attack him Clive! God I need to remember to... Get him Clive! Kill him! Very good. Such swordsmanship will serve you well in the field. But can the same be said of your spellcraft? The flames of the phoenix burn within you. Now let them burn without. That is something I'm very happy about. I don't have to freaking... Fire down upon me. I don't have to craft spells. God, that was awful. I hated that. I never used spells because of it. Press triangle to cast fire. Ranged attack. Yep, okay, awesome. Love that. Come here. Come here. Don't hold back. I can take the heat. You better make sure you can. Show me the Phoenix did not bless you for naught. Unleash the fire. There we go. Try to break his guard a bit, but Jesus Christ, he would not let that go. You wield the Firebird's flames just as a first shield should. You flatter me, my lord. Or would you rather I flattened you? Can be arranged. You can try. You can elude my blade. After all, your attacking prowess will count for naught if you don't live long enough to use it. Fair enough. On your toes, Lord Rossfield. My name's Lord Rossfield? Is that the name of the house? It's a decent name, I suppose. I just can't remember hearing it before. Press I want to evade an enemy attack. Evading at a precise moment, it is dealt with temporarily. Temporarily, wait. The moment it's dealt, not the moment it gets close. Typically, okay. Yeah, no. It does look. It looks like it's when they're about to hit you. So it's not when it's they first initialize it. So making more susceptible to counters using square or triangle. What are you doing? Called dodging. Crap. Okay, I need to get my timing, but I'm dodging too early. Good. No, that's still too early. You must. There we go. Need to get better at those. Need to get my timing down a bit better. Remember, Clive, your blade is not your only weapon. I know we we just use magic. Of foot are indispensable arms in any shield's arsenal. But you are not just any shield, are you? Show me what sets you apart from the rest. Okay. You have been blessed by the Phoenix. Granted the use of its power. Call upon that power now to close on you. Okay. Well, I'm waiting. This is the nobility I really like. Execute a Phoenix shift three times. The blessing of the Phoenix grants Clive the ability to perform feats of inhuman strength and dexterity. Phoenix shift is one such 
Um, I need to. I'm gonna have to learn how to pronounce this throughout this series. Iconic. Econ. I think it's Econ. E Econic. Feet. Tap uh, circle to swiftly close in on a distant target. Both melee and ranged attacks magic can be used while executing a phoenix shift. Where are you going? I ain't done with you yet. You get back in place. You get back in place. But even the most agile shield cannot hope to escape every blow. And death yes, may I can. By a handful of cuts, as easily as it comes by a thousand. There is only one way to ensure that you do not fall. Keep your wounds mended and your energies replenished. Is your voice softer? It sounds which, softer than when we first started this. Seem a little worse for wear. Now that won't do at all. Okay. Consumables items such as potions and not can be used to restore lives, HP, or temporarily boost stat attributes. Consumables can be assigned to the number keys via the items tab in the main menu of quick and convenient use. These items can also be directly can be used directly from the menu. Have to be Here with a normal potion. That's better. Battle is a succession of pivotal moments, wherein life and death can be decided at a single stroke. You must be ready to utilize every tool at your disposal if you are to navigate a path to victory. Okay. At the very least, to ensure that you live to fight another day. Enough practice. It's time for the test. You've recovered from your soaking, I trust. You wouldn't want to kick a man while he's drowned. I thought you'd never ask. It's time to whoop your ass. Spar with me. If you believe yourself worthy to be called Shield of the Flame, then prove it. As you wish, my lord. Oh, you're about to get beat so bad. How that, me boy. Make proof of your strength. Okay. Defeat the Lord Commander. Breaking the, an opponent's will. The will gauge indicates an opponent's will to fight. Break this rear by landing attacks and strike them when they are vulnerable. Go on. You're sure to beat him this time. You can do it, Clive. Just stay calm. Ah. You're taking this seriously. Keep going, Clive. Ah. 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 Crap. Ah, oh, crap. There we go. Staggering your enemies. Lord Murdoch's will has been broken. Leaving him staggered. Try dealing as much damage as you can before he regains his senses. Try L R2 and Square to execute Rising Flame, a powerful iconic attack. Uh, uh, iconic ability. Granted Clive by the blessing of the Phoenix. You're gonna be lucky if you get to stand up after this, Jesus. Sorry, Lord Commander. This time I took my own advice and used all the tools at my disposal. I mean, you could try, but <laughs> I believe it got started with you, Jesus. I kind of want to try, guys, because I'm pretty sure I could do that without being hit. Granted, it's pretty easy, but still. Accomplishments are accomplishments. See? I told you he could do it. Aye. <sighs> Bested at last. It's taken me long enough. That was a display worthy of your father. You're like 15. Cut yourself you some slack, Clive. The flame and let no one tell you otherwise. Including me. What are you lot gawping at? Back to your drills. Calm yourself, Clive. 
Come on, don't succumb. Relax. Okay, okay, got powers. Good to know. Sure. I was just tired. The Phoenix's flames are a gift. You mustn't waste them. It isn't a waste. My shields look after me. Why shouldn't I? <laughs> that is That's why, why, Joshua. You were coughing this morning, too. You shouldn't be outdoors. I'll be fine. It's just a cold. Don't push yourself. Then you need to be back inside, it's resting. Father's back. Hey. Your Grace, please. Uh, this is no place for one such as you. I would gladly brave hell itself to see my darling boy. Gentlemen, Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. Thank you. Are you the Grace, dominant? We live to serve. Hot, hot. Well, uh, the dominant had like pretty distinct blonde hair. Joshua. You have pretty distinct blonde hair. You should not be out of doors. But well, she doesn't we have yellow eyes, this. though. But did the eyes I'm change? Sorry. Oh God! Don't tell her she Good is. Day to you, mother. That'd be. Is she... <sighs> no. It's, I'm just going based off hair colour, right? I'm being Come, stupid. Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. Oh, I hate that. I put that thought in my head now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Your grace. Surely as his shield, I should go with him. Flesh and right? Blood. It's not his fault. Not everyone can be born a phoenix. We should join them. Thank you. friends welcome home father thank you Joshua you are well I trust yes father much better today June and I went to the bay to watch Clive spa lying is that so not about the spa but about you feeling better don't lie don't do it Joshua Make a fine hound one day. Father. Lift up your head, girl. Thank you, Your Grace. The capital rejoices at your safe return, Your Grace. War is coming, my boy. We must make ready. Okay. Talk about this ominous. Jesus Christ. Grave. Come to the throne room. We will talk there. Yeah. There's a, a Clive. Your Grace. He literally just whispered that in your ear. You don't have to be so open about it. Is it really that grave? Dismissed. Seeing their interactions, I get a kind of Ned Stark and Catelyn Stark to um... <laughs> John Snow kind of vibe. The mother seems to hate him because he wasn't born of the flame. He wasn't born the phoenix like Joshua was. But his father understands and respects him because he's a great warrior and he's his own person. Right. But Clive, you gotta do something about that haircut, dude. 
Listen, it's not bad, but it is not good. At least in my opinion. Granted, I'm not the best with haircuts. I'm not the best judge. Finding your way. Should you find yourself lost, do not fret. Hold down L3 and trust in your animal instinct to point you in the right direction. Your current destination will be displayed by a red marker. Is trouble brewing? I'm not sure. I need to speak with father. One thing I love is that you can just hear little conversations as you go by. Warriors. You could learn a thing or two from them. Not after they've been burned to cinders by the phoenix's flames. Would <laughs> that it was so simple. So the iron blood is still a problem now, even 13 years before. Make sure you get a good edge on that, eh? I know. I'm not about to send our lads off to war with dull blades. Wait, are you saying him to get a good edge? He's still hammering it out. Leave him alone for a little bit, dude. Calm down. Okay, okay, I did. I, whoa. <laughs> I didn't expect Clark to climb there. Okay, that's a surprise. Good day, Okay. Look at her. She is adorable with the dog. The dog is adorable. I want the dog. Nothing down there but rats and rogues, my lord. Let me in. No one is to enter the dungeons. Including you, my lord. Alright, I get it, I get it. So, I will be trying to take my time with this. Just because, like I said, the thing that got me into wanting to play it was the story. And I really want to kind of must be ready to drown in said story. You don't need to tell this one. She's raring to go. <laughs> She's heard this speech before. As you've probably seen in some of my other playthroughs, I sometimes skip dialogue just because if it's not related to the main story, I don't care much. I think I'll be doing that less in this one, and I'll be trying to pay more attention to the, you know, the dialogue and the main characters and the side characters and stuff. Useful items can be found across the realm by those who know where to look. Items discovered can be viewed on the items tab in the main menu. the Duchess calls for our heads. Right you are. Yeah, just, sure all the crystals are accounted for. It's just regular soldiers, regular just castle people, C it. citizens. Why? Why does that take so long? <laughs> I know my money's on. Yeah, just regular citizens going by their daily lives, and it's wonderful. Ah, I do enjoy we shift it. this lot before we lose the light. Indeed. Alright, I think that's pretty much everything down here. Let us push onwards a bit. Oh wait. Forgive me, my lord, but I need to finish inspecting these crystals. Alright. Didn't do to give our soldiers spent shards. Yeah, so you can expire them or take away all the magic used. within them? Or icon? Don't stand a chance. I wonder what they call it. Would they call it magic or mana? I know the... Mm -hmm. I know things like the Phoenix and Titan and stuff are referred to as Dominance and Ekons, I believe. <laughs> Dude with a brand on his face like Clive has in the future. I'm just going to ruin his life. I'm pretty sure it's Clive. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty Lord confident. Yeah, no, it is Clive. With this car. Bow to him, you fool. Uh, 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 I say to speak. It was no trouble, really. Oh, do not indulge him. To be allowed to stand in your lordship's presence is more than his kind deserves. Why, neither the Empire nor the Republic treat their bearers half so well. He was lucky to be born in your father's dominion. Very lucky, as I remind him every day. Don't sound lucky. Sounds oppressed. Stand, please. Good guy, Clive. Thank you. Stand. I trust his good fortune will continue. Of course, if that is your lordship's wish. Don't work too hard. Remember, it is for the good of the duchy that you serve. Uh, 
As do we all, my lord. As do we all. Come along now. Back to your duties. I like that. Good to see Clive linking up with just the regular people. Looks like they're getting ready for supper. <laughs> I think someone's hungry. Who wouldn't be? To you soon enough. Who the hell are you talking about? I'm having my bearer fill the well, my lord. Best to save what crystals we can, eh? What? Wait, what? It doesn't matter who does it, the, the the crystal is still being used. I'm having my bearer fill the well. The crystal is still being used to fill the well. It doesn't matter who fills it. The hell? It's weird. God, this castle is big. Which I guess is <laughs> it's kind of expected. It's a castle. Almost felt sorry for the Lord Commander. Fine display, my lord. Almost felt sorry for the Lord. You surely got that done. Got worked over. It was awesome. If I had a real sword, he would have been dead. Alright, let's move on with the story a bit. Into the gardens. Nice and quiet in here, isn't it? What is over here? Nothing over here. Let's do it here. My lord, it, it, it's not how it looks. I'm um, inspecting the castle walls by order of the Duchess. M my lord. Okay. It, it, it's not how it looks. I'm. Um, the Duchess wants you to inspect castle walls for some reason. Hello, Joshua. Oh, wait a minute. Clive. Don't you dare progress the story. I still have you more gardens to look more. around. The soldiers will expect the phoenix to help them, but I don't know if I can. Don't worry, Joshua. Father will guide you. And I will protect you. Always. I know. Thank you, Clive. Yeah, like, I do kind of get it. Like, how often do wars break out? And if you have a nuke in your back pocket, you want to use the nuke to end the war as quickly as possible. But even with that said, he's still a kid. And he's a sick kid at that. Forgive my man, you'll be done in a jiffy. Just getting the place tidied up for the big procession. So he's using wind. This is a closed gate. You're using wind, nothing over there. There. Thank you. That oh, that was awesome. Of our nation. He must be protected. All other concerns are insignificant. I love that it doesn't just bounce over the. He doesn't just fly over them. He like steps over it and jumps further. That's oh, I like that. Like a small little detail. Making an effort. Some large gates and stiff levers require extra effort to operate. Press X to open them, then hold R2 to push or pull with it all your might. Um. Wonderful. Good luck. Where are you going? You're like 
What? You like his support? He needs him. He needs you. What are you doing? You commanded my presence, Your Grace. How may I serve you? All right, you can stop licking my boots. My mother isn't here. <laughs> oh, I love this. I love it so much. Do the territories fare any better? Most lie under a pall of black. In just these few moons, the blight has taken nigh on all of the northern reaches. It is only a matter of time before it crosses the border. What is the blight? I have flamed. God, I need to know. I need yeah, to know yeah, everything. Yeah, but in the capital is already occupied by those fleeing the deadlands. Even if we were to send them south to Port Isolde, more would only follow in their wake. Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. Against the Iron Kingdom. We have traded blows with them for too long. It is time to end it. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. The Iron Blood will not relinquish it easily. This will be a bitter fight. We ride for Phoenix Gate tomorrow. There we will listen to the words of our ancestors, as tradition dictates. Am I to go with you as Joshua's shield? There is something else I would have you do first. Rodney. When he says Mother's Crystal, in the opening title shot where you can select like new games and stuff... You would have heard the reports, I am sure, of beastmen from the north being sighted within our borders. Goblins in the Stillwind Marshes. I know of the rumours, yes. Then you know what must be done. I will give you two good men. While we ride north tomorrow, you will journey to Stillwind, search it, and clear it. Then you will join us at Phoenix Gate. And also, when you're on the PlayStation menu, when it, the game comes up, it shows it is time to prove a giant crystal with a I'm city sure. around it. Is that the Mother Crystal? <clears throat> I originally thought that was maybe like ice or something. But that may is that crystal? I will do my duty, Your Grace. A crystal with freaking a tan wrapped around it, a city wrapped around it? That will be all. Rest well. We ride at dawn. Yes, Your Grace. Active time law. Hold, um, hold what? Oh, yeah, I remember someone praising this. Um, Fighting Cowboy was praising this on Twitter. I, I don't go on Twitter much, but I saw this. Active time hold um, that button to access active time law. A fe active time law feature a comp compilation of important information relevant to Clive's current storyline progression. ATL can even be viewed during most cutscenes. All active time law entries can be accessed later in the game. Let's take a look at that. So, this is our current capital. Situated in the heart of the Ducal capital of Rosalith. It is from this towering ivory fortress that the Archduke and his family ruled the nation. An architectural feat the founder himself will be proud of. The castle has stood since the early days of the duchy and watched over the rise of this proud nation and the people who inhabit, inhabit the city beneath. The Grand Duchy of Rosaria, a nation occupying the western reaches of the Continent of Storm. That's a cool name. With Roselith as its capital, Rosaria was originally formed from the collection of smaller dominions, all of which now stand united under the banner of Archduke Elwyn Rosefield. Rosefield. Not possessing a mother crystal of its own, the duchy has long been locked in bitter conflict with the Iron Kingdom over possession of 
Drake's Breath, which lies still further to the west in the midst of the Boiling Sea. Archduke of the Grand Duchy of Rosaria and father of Clive and Joshua, loved by his people for his steadfast leadership both at home and on the battlefield, which put to good effect in quelling the rebellious nor northern territories. We'll look into the Iron Kingdom in just a moment. Enormous glassy mountains. Yeah, okay, it is the thing in the start. Five of which... F there's five of them? Jesus. Five of which tower over the land, lands of Valisthea. They are the source of all the crystals that the people of the twins rely on in their everyday lives. Not only that, but the lands surrounding them are rich with ether, making the magics the crystals cast even more potent. For these reasons, great nations have sprung up around each mother crystal and long warred with each other for possession of their blessings. I wonder if the different mother crystals give different blessings. Like, they all have the same base um, ability, um, you know, cast. They all enhance the places around them with ether and make magic stronger. But I wonder if they have different blessings for each of them. Oh god, this is a long one. Also known in the local tongue as... Heran, yeah, the Iron Kingdom is an archipelago nation, that's intriguing, situated off the west coast of Storm, with, with its capital as Craig Lostgut, Lostgut uh, the Mother Crystal, Drake's Breath, rises from the volcanic island situated just within or without its borders, depending on, depending on whom you ask and has been the subject of long-standing conflict between the Ironbloods and the neighbouring Duchy of Rosaria. The Iron Kingdom's inhabitants shun any contact with outsiders which has given rise to a unique, if largely inward-looking, culture. I see. I do like that, that is cool. Do I have a map? Main Menu Attributes. The Attributes tab provides a comprehensive overview of Clive's current level, status, abilities, and gear. I can't see maps on the thing yet. Let's go through all these though. The items tab contains lists of all non-gear items currently in Clive's possession, including those used in quests. Consumer items such as potions can be used at any time from this tab. Assigning shortcuts. Items can also be assigned to shortcuts for quick access during gameplay. Select an item from the consumables list and press square to bring up the shortcut window. After confirming the button it is to be assigned to, press X to confirm the decision. No, not that, this. What's this? Main menu. The journal tab contains information on main story progress as well as all current and completed side quests. As the duchy readies in itself for war within with the Iron Kingdom, its most bitter and long-standing of rivals, so too does Clive prepare to do his duty as first shield of Rosaria to protect and serve his brother Joshua, dominant of the Phoenix. Retire to your chambers. What about the system? I'm not going to go over the system, that's just general stuff. The gear and econ tab is used for equipping weapons and armor, as well as assigning econ abilities to available slots. I actually think I came around on the econ thing really fast. Um, clearly, the darkest of arts when employed in this ring's for were employed in this ring's forging. Yet, no matter its infernal providence, it's it does effectively slow time, and that can prevent prove very handy in staying alive. When a quick time slows before an available evadable evadable enemy attack strikes Clive. No effect when equipped the, with the ring of timely evasion. That's fine. We can just put you on. Fleetness of foot requires lightning quick reflexes, eagle like vision and razor sharp focus not to mention the cows of a puma. That or this convenient ring when equipped Clive will automatically evade attacks as long as the attacks can be evaded. That's cool, but I feel like I should get better at evading them myself. If they'll bring that transforms a novice swordsman's awkward jerks and jabs into a veritable dance of precisely executed flourishes, one might wonder why every knight in the realm didn't have one of their own. When equipped, complex ability combinations can be, ex can be executed by simply pressing square. I don't know, because I kind of want to get better with that kind of stuff on my own. So let me look at this. There was, there once was a hapless battle mage 
who oft found himself on the losing end of duels, for in the heat of combat he would forget to use the healing potions he carried with him. Fed up, he enchanted a ring to remind him to do just that as he was a better mage than swordsman. The, the ring worked, it worked so well in fact they could really even recall raising a vial to his lips. When equipped, Clive will automatically use a potion when his HP falls below... No, I don't, I don't want anything that makes the game too easy. I don't want it to be easy. I want it to be intriguing. I want it to be hard. I kind of want to see if there's a difficulty thing because all this sounds too easy so far. Is there a difficulty thing in here? Subtitles, subtitle thing. Background, speaker names I will have on. No... No. Okay. Well, I do need to save there. That's where the demo ended, of course. Back. Should I just write over that? No, let me just delete that. Should I delete it? Yeah, no, I'll just delete that. It'll be fine. Um, so I will end things there. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff. I will see you all later, and goodbye.